Hello, hi there, this is Junior Creator, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at Tesla stock and um, what it has been doing, how the day-to-day -day went with the price action. And there's still 10 minutes left for the market to close, uh, but looks like um, the price is gonna hover around $195, $296 by the time it closes. And we'll be doing technical analysis, and if you have been following my previous video on Teslas, um, you know, I am open with my short position with an average price of around $177 to $180. And that being said, um, none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. Also, please hit the like, subscribe if you like watching my videos. Now, let's quickly take a look at what we are seeing here with Tesla. So, what I have been covering so far is um, my thesis behind that this area of $200 is the area where I do believe Tesla stock is supposed to you know, do a reversal, at least on the swing side, to at least the level of $166 before it does any pullback. And more of the things will determine once it does this pullback on the swing side, and then we can see how the next few days of price action forms and how things may look like. And the thesis has been so far for this $200 level as the strong, you know, reversal or pivotal point is, you know, because of these double tops in the downtrend from the month of December last year. And also, you know, these pivotal points uh, back in November. And then also, if I zoom out, there has been this uh, pivotal point in, at the level of $208.00. So $208, $200 to $208 is a range of quite a strong resistance. And Tesla, after running this exhaustion of, you know, pretty much $100, which is not unusual for a stock like Tesla to do, like in one straight direction. If you see back here in the month of July and August, Tesla ran, you know, pretty much close to the $100 range in one direction. Then on the downside as well here, Tesla, you know, went down $100 in range. And even like if I, you know, zoom out a little bit um, and, you know, we go back here, this is also where Tesla ran, you know, $100 range. And this is also $100 range down. Some are give and take, you know, $100 to, $100 to $120 range. Um, so it's not, sur well, you know, it is surprising to see a stock being so volatile and, you know, making such strong moves. Um, but then also, you know, I want to mention that it is a place where, you know, I am more confident playing reversal. And as you can see, the candle just went green for the day today. Um, so it's already at $196. So Tesla has, you know, even if it shows red candle right now, it's still, you know, is above because it gapped up in the pre-market right so it's still above you know previous day closing price which was at 194 and 78 cents around and now the thing is to be honest like looks like if tesla keeps forming these ladder steps to the upside it won't have any problem breaking over 200 dollars at least in this week and that's something we have to see how tomorrow goes tomorrow is going to be very important uh, because price is slowly and slowly climbing up, even even though we are seeing these um, you know strong selling pressure from last four days, four trading days, uh, we are also seeing that the price at the same time is you know going up, right? It's going in ladder steps and it's consolidating around these higher areas, right? Which you know, means that there are still not enough seller in the market to keep the price down. Because even if you see these wicks that comes down, they got, they get bought back up, right? And it's getting closer and closer to $200 level. So I don't think it's gonna take long enough for Tesla to break over $200 level. At the same time as I'm covering this, I do wanna show that today, you know, Jerome Powell had its speech as well. So, you know, even SPY, you know, looks like it's pretty much Tesla followed SPY today. It did underperform then SPY today, but considering Tesla has been running already for so long, you know, it is mind blowing. But something I want to cover about SPY is that it is finding support at this level of $409 and it went straight back up to $415. I do expect actually, okay, let's, let's do this SPY thing here, right? 
So SPY is S&P 500 index fund, right? Um, and this is where I track the index against all other major stocks. So if you notice, SPY actually has started doing higher highs and higher lows. So you see like it came back down but formed higher low and is way back up. And I'm assuming it's, what I'm foreseeing this is it might form this double top in coming days at least by the end of this week and might pull back down but it may not pull back down enough and it may you know form a higher low and then eventually it may way, make its way high up so spy looks like to to me actually is uh, on the upside now because it's also over 200 days moving average which is the red line so we could very well be in the uh, bull cycle you know uh, to me that's what it seems like i think we are in the bull cycle now and it's so funny that <laughs> in december last year <laughs> there were you know hedge fund managers and big short sellers coming in and saying no we are really going to stay in the bear market for 2023 and you know the, they will keep shorting and price is going to plummet and but then look at in january we have formed higher low so something to keep an eye on right so I'm not going to just go over the content for the sake of that because I have a short position, then everything has to be shorted, right? No. Um, I, I have to watch the price action and technicals and look like right now technicals are favoring to the upside. And my plan with Tesla, as I have covered, is to try to play the pullback in the swing side and cover my position around $166 while, you know, I might take partial outs at some level of $180 as well. I, in hindsight, you know, it's always easier to say, I do wish that I should have taken some position out at $189 and I should have been comfortable doing that because as I said, I have been trading Tesla intraday level as well on short side. So I do have profit accumulated from the short side on intraday trading that I can adjust with my swing trading, you know, position cut on the short side loss. So, um, and if I would have cut some position at $189 today, uh, I should have been, you know, just to lighten up a little bit while I'm seeing the Tesla stock is so strong. Look at it. It's $197 already. Uh, it's very, it looks like very strong to go over $200. Who knows? Maybe in post-market it will go over $200 today. So let's jump back to our hourly chart and let's cover a few more things. So as you can see, again, look at it. It's, it's just looks so strong, right? It's uh, from last four days it's going to the upside here and just how the market is looking I think Tesla will not have problem breaking over $200 now we have to see how it consolidates between $200 to $208 range because $208 range I still consider a strong resistance level and we will see what happens if it's a false breakout over $200 level or whatnot um, all in all you know, as I said in my previous video, that level of 189 is to watch for. And, you know, long behold, that $189 is where Tesla has, you know, pivoted again back up to out of from, right? It did test $189 or $190 and did go up. And so at $193 is short lot of buying. So if I go to five minutes chart, that will give more clarity. Yep, look at it. So $190, it tested it today as well, couldn't break. And then, you know, um, $193 is where it's found support again and went back up. Looks like a great place to add to my short position, actually, the way it's showing this extension. But I don't want to do it right now. I want to see how it tests at $200 um, because it's, um, I, I have a feeling it's going to break over $200, the, how strong it's looking right now to me, and it's breaking out of all the resistance level. Um, so, but yeah, guys, that's what, you know, I want to cover about Tesla, and I hope you found this video helpful. I still have my position, short position open. Um, I might, you know, adjust my drawdown and just looking at it, how the price behaves around $200 level. I'll keep you guys posted. This is the part five. I'll be, you know, covering all these, you know, as for my active position open. I do want to mention also that I traded Meta today on the short side. I made a profit on that. Um, but again, I did not touch Tesla. I did not add any more position today. I did not, um, you know, do anything with Tesla today. I'm still holding my short position. Um, so guys, if you enjoyed this video, liked it, please hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.